Have you ever written a native script plugin? Well, what was in the past is in the past. And today I'm gonna to show you the future of native script plugin creation. And it's simple, yet quite powerful. Hey everybody, my name is Alex Ziskind. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, click on the subscribe button to get native script tips, tricks, and tutorials. And what we're doing today is we're looking at the new workflow for plugin creation. If you ever built a plugin for native script, you know that you have to create the code for the plugin. You have to create demo applications for it in native script core, native script view, native script with angular, and uh, maybe even React and Svelte as well. And if you've created one native script plugin, maybe you have four or five code bases to manage, not a huge deal. But what if you have two native script plugins? Or maybe you have 10 or maybe 80, like somebody that we know, Eddie Verbruggen. Today I wanna to share with you the new plugin workflow that allows you to manage all your plugins in one place, in one mono repo. This is useful for those solo plugin developers, and it's especially useful for organizations that want to keep a set of plugins under their own scope, and they want all the plugins to be updated and on the same version of native script. So I'm gonna go through a more detailed list of all the benefits towards the end of the video, but right now I just really wanna show this to you because it's exciting and it's awesome. Here's where you start. You head over to github.com slash native script slash plugin seed. This is the new repository under the native script umbrella. You can go to the code button, but don't click on that clone button. Well, I mean, you can click on the clone button. But that's not what you want to do here. You want to download a zip file here in this case. I'm going to select a folder where to put this zip file. As you can see, I've actually already downloaded it and we're good to go. Now, I'm in the folder where I downloaded this archive. I'm gonna go ahead and double click on this to unzip it. And this gives me a folder which is the seed for my plugins. So I'm going to rename this folder to make it more convenient for my organization. And let's say my organization was Nuvius. I would rename the folder to Nuvius. This is strictly optional. You don't have to rename the folder. In fact, I'm just gonna make it super generic. I'm gonna say my scope. Scoping your NPM packages has become pretty popular lately. Angular scopes their packages at Angular. Native script scopes their packages at Native script. You've probably seen this before. So I'm gonna say my scope will be my scope as an example here for this demo. Now I'm gonna navigate to that folder on the terminal. To get started with this, I'm gonna run NPM run setup. And this will just run through a script to set up the workspace for you. Once that finishes, let's go ahead and run one more command, and that's npm run config. This command sets up your workspace, and it's used for configuration of the workspace. Right now, it just has one question that it asks, what npm scope would you like to use for this workspace? And again, I'm just gonna enter my scope. Whatever your organization name, you would probably enter that here as well. And that's it. Your workspace is now set up and configured. You can even see what files have been updated by the operation. And you can see that we have now at my scope. I'm gonna open this up in Visual Studio Code. And you can see that a lot of things have been set up for you that normally you'd have to create yourself. The readme has been pre-populated. All you need to do is just modify a couple things here. The licensing agreement has been pre-populated. TypeScript has been configured. The workspace has been set up, nx.json, underneath the hood, this is using Narwhal's nx workspaces, and that's the monorepo technology that lives behind this. There's also a travis.yaml starting file to help you integrate with Travis for builds, for automated CI, and a testing configuration. Other things that are included here are this apps folder, which has two apps already set up for you, more to come. Right now it has the native script vanilla demo app and the demo angular app right here. It also has the packages folder. Now their packages folder right now is empty. This is where your plugin or plugins are going to live multiple plugins. So if you've noticed in the last week or two, NativeScript is working on moving all their plugins to the add NativeScript scope, and they're putting it in this exact same structure to make things easier to manage going forward, which means plugins are gonna be up to date faster and demos are gonna be working as well. And the same is extended to you as well using this method. Okay, so I'm gonna show you now how to add a brand new plugin 
here they're called packages. I'm gonna show you how to add a new one here. You would run npm run add, and this is going to add a new package or plugin to this workspace. So it's asking you what should the new package be named? I'm gonna call mine, for lack of creativity, hello world. There is my new hello world package. And this is nice because it tells you what files were modified, what files were created, everything is right here. Let's switch over to our code. And now in the packages folder, you'll see a new folder called hello world. If you create another package or plugin, it'll add another folder in here with that code. And this also sets up the structure, the initial structure for the plugin, which you can extend. All right, so we're gonna go through the code and I'm gonna run a demo example for you as well. But before I do, what just happened? Why do we have so many different file updates and so many different files created? Well, the created files are pretty clear. That's the new package, the hello world package, all these new files were created. But also files were modified, existing files were modified to support this new plugin. And if you take a look at your demo code, you'll now see that package.json was updated. There is our plugin, MyScope Hello World. Same thing with the Angular demo. You know what that means? That means that you can use these demo applications for all the plugins you're gonna have in here. You don't have to create separate demo applications for all the different UI frameworks anymore. But not only that, you get a reusable demo structure here. So while your demos, your Angular and other demos live in this apps folder, there is another folder here called tools. And tools has a demo folder of its own and it has this hello world folder, which means that this particular demo is shared code that's gonna run inside of the, each of those demos but it's shared code specifically for this plugin. So here you can expose functionality that your plugin serves for the demos automatically because the demos will trigger this shared code. But right now, if we dig into the demo here and we go into the source and we go into the Hello World XML, for example, here is a button and it has a tab handler that says test it. Now, if we take a look at the code, there is no tested here, but because of the shared demo structure that we've set up here, we now can go and use this demo shared hello world class. And there's our tested function, which is shared between all the demos. So now the Angular demo has this tested function and the core demo has this tested function. I've said a lot. I think it's time to actually kick things off and get things running. I'm gonna head back here and clear my screen. Let's type in npm start. npm start will get you to this screen where you can select what you wanna do. So you can build your plugin using myscope.helloworld.build. If you had more than one and you wanted to build all of them, you can select myscope.buildall. Why don't we go ahead and do that? I'm gonna select build. This will compile your plugin code. And I'm gonna run npm start again, just to show you a couple of other things. Here we have the demos exposed. Here we have vanilla demos. We can clean the vanilla demo. We can run on iOS, run on Android. We also have the Angular demo that we can clean or run on each of the platforms. So let's go ahead and run this vanilla demo on iOS, for example. Okay, the demo popped open in my iOS simulator. Here we're gonna have a list of the plugins that we can access. I'm gonna tap on Hello World because that's the name of our plugin. This takes me to the Hello World plugin page where you can expose different functionality that you wanna test using this demo. And I just have one button here. When I click it, we get a console message that says test Hello World. And we get this message because this shared plugin code prints out test Hello World. Okay, so what can we do here to demonstrate how the plugin development process goes? Well, I can go ahead and modify this demo code, first of all, and this gets a live synced. So when I tap that button again, there's our new line test hello world R, whatever that means. Okay, not that impressive, right? Okay, let's see something pretty cool and impressive. I'm gonna go out of tools and I'm gonna head over to my actual package now, hello world, and then we have our common.ts file. This is the common code that runs on all platforms. Then we have iOS specific code 
And we also have Android specific code. So if I go to Hello World Common, I can add a common function here. Let's say I can create a static function called say hello. And this will actually say console.log hello world common. This way we'll know where it's coming from. Great. So let's go back to our shared code. And instead of printing out to the console right away, I'm going to import. You can see that this import statement is already there for you. All you got to do is just add what you're importing. And we're going to import hello world. I'm going to say hello world dot and you can see the IntelliSense already helps me out. We have the say hello function right there. Let's save everything and head out to our console. And let's try this one more time. I'm gonna tap test hello world. We get hello world common printed out here. So now we're already exposing and live syncing plugin code directly in our demos without having to stop any of the processes, without having to rebuild. This is really nice. Now, if you wanted platform specific stuff going on, and a lot of plugins are, they do platform specific things, we can do that as well. Check it out. I'm gonna head back here, and since I'm running on iOS, I'm actually gonna add something in index.ios.ts, and I'm going to copy this function from common and paste it right here in the iOS specific file. Hello world, and this time I'm gonna say iOS. Let's head out to the console open up the sim, hello world, test hello world, and we get printed out hello world iOS. So platform specific code works here as well. Now the development process is not the only thing that's simplified by this new workflow. Publishing to NPM is also simplified and we do that simply by running yet another script, npm run publish dash packages. And this is pretty cool. It also has an interactive prompt here that asks you which packages would you like to publish? So you can say, I wanna publish my Hello World package. And if I had other ones, I just make a comma separated list of the packages I wanna publish. Or I can just publish all of them and update all of them just by hitting enter and not entering anything in there. I'm not gonna do that right now because, well, I don't think my package is actually worth publishing to NPM at the moment. Are we done? No, we're not done. There's one more thing that's really, really cool that I want to show you. Now, suppose you have 10 or 20 or even 100 packages or plugins that you're managing in this single mono repo. What if you're working on only one of them and you want to focus in on that one? Without having Visual Studio Code try to analyze all your code base and run IntelliSense on the whole workspace, well, the way this workspace is set up is that it scales pretty well by using the focus command. So I'm going to say npm start again. Right down here at the bottom, we have focus. So if I say focus hello world, what this is gonna do is target only my hello world project and it'll focus in on that project and hide all the other ones. Let's say I ran npm run add one more time and I say goodbye. That sounds kind of sad, right? Let's change that to welcome. Okay, so we've just created a brand new package and there it is right there. We have welcome under packages. We have hello world and welcome under demo. So let's say we wanted to work on the new welcome package. I would say npm start and I would scroll down to the focus command using my arrow keys. Or if you have a long list, you can actually quickly filter these by typing focus. And look at that, the list is narrowed down for you. You can even keep going. I'm gonna say focus welcome. And if I head back to Visual Studio Code and I open up packages, what, what happened to my hello world? Well, guess what, folks? You don't have to worry, hello world is still there, but it's hidden for you by the editor because you're focusing in on the welcome package and you're working only on that one. If you ever want to get your hello world package back again, you're gonna have to pay a huge ransom. No, I'm just kidding. All you gotta do is say npm start, focus, reset, and we're good to go. We have all our packages showing now. So folks, just to summarize, this new workspace plugin workflow is really gonna streamline your plugin development. You're only gonna have one package.json file and one tsconfig file that's gonna control your entire suite of plugins. Demoing functionality in the plugins is gonna be super easy now because you're only gonna have as many demo applications as there are UI frameworks. Angular, Vue, Core, Svelte, React. It's also gonna be very clear what scope all these plugins belong to. The code structure is really well defined for you 
and you don't have to wonder about creating your own code structure. Publishing and deploying your packages is super easy now with the npm publish command. And there's a lot more stuff coming in the near future. This is just the beginning. Thanks a lot for watching this. Go build some plugins. And if you're not subscribed yet to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up if you enjoy this content. And I will see you in the next one.